spotted. Looks like it's a, it's a buck. Good morning. Step in the truck. It's still a little early. Probably, uh, let's see, six, almost 6.30. I don't think this is typical for antelope hunters, pronghorn hunters, but um, me, you know, just part of the experience. And then why not get up early? See, I feel like they're still moving around, but antelope or pronghorn are always moving around. So, um, one yesterday and then uh, nothing more out of the four water holes I checked four were dry so I ran across one puddle but that was also in the middle of the road so I can knock off some more watering holes this morning I marked on onyx and then we will go from there so glad you guys are part back for day two and we will keep chugging along. Booyah. Beautiful sunrise as always. I haven't seen anything out here yet. I'm trying to use my binoculars every time I come over a little rise. So hopefully I can snatch something before they see me. Just walked up on this little, as you can see right in the middle of the road, there's some water. Some little bit of track there. I don't know if that could be like a cow hurt, sheep herding dog, you know, type. Oops. Looks like there's, those are paw tracks. There's like one antelope track there. And then the rest are either those dog or coyote tracks. That's not looking looking too great either because that's a pretty good little water source right there. So they might unless this water and hole up here has water. Then I could see why they're just going there. Let's go see. Find out. Does anyone else just find themselves looking for arrowheads as they're hunting? Looks pretty pretty like an arrowhead, huh? Except for it's fat. Trash. I'll find one eventually. Another cool find. Super old license plate. Idaho 61 4C 2001 TK. Just found it on the ground right here. She got ripped off someone's car. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, this is pretty nasty. Dead goat or sheep. That's so sweet. Eighteen twenty. See these ones. What's up, JK Outdoors fam? You uh, staying inside this winter? You should think you should get a long sleeve shirt. So go check out the store in the link below. We'll catch you next time. Booyah. See that big old coral. That'd be a super sweet uh, kind of skull to have, but I don't know where I put it. So might just leave it there. I don't know. We gotta keep hunting. We're not here for no skulls that are already dead. Or skulls that we can kill. So sun, sun's coming up and uh, no eyes on pronghorn yet. We'll keep going. Oh. Walked up on my first uh, watering hole. So you can see, it's probably hard to see, but 
someone does have their blind set up on it, so I'm just gonna Unless they walked in straight, I think I beat them out here. But I'm just gonna kind of walk over this way, do some glassing, and back out. Give them, give them some space. But you can glass pretty good from up here, so I'm just gonna take a second. And welcome to public land hunting. Hardy har har. Should go tear up their blind and throw it into the wind. I can't believe some people think that way. It's pretty messed up. Alrighty. I'll catch up if I see anything. Alright, fam. First set of pronghorn family out there. They're working. They're working their way west so I'm gonna see study onyx a little bit see if I can get in a drainage or something ahead of them wish me luck all right three antelope spotted right over there they are about let's see how far away too far for my uh too far from my rangefinder to see or to go out, so they're over a thousand yards away. Looked like there was one big one and two small ones. Disappeared behind a little ridge system. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see if I can find them. All right, we ain't here to mess around. So, I don't think there's anyone in that blind, but there could be, so. Get as far away as I can. They're running away from the blind, just so everyone knows. I'm not cutting them off or anything. I don't know if they, I don't think they saw me. I don't know what they're running away from. But beautiful view. Like there's like pros and cons to this desert hunting. It's beautiful in a whole different way than up in the mountains, but I do love it. Let's go get them. All right, so I'm gonna start the stock. Again, they're like 800 yards away probably, but um, we're gonna start moving in and the GoPro is gonna go up on the head. So hopefully you see some action. says I'm about 600 yards away so I'm gonna sneak down and go around to keep the keep back on one more contour line and see if we can make a play there's a group of about eight and then there's a group of like one or two so let's get it all right well I sat down probably three quarters of a mile away from them they're a lot farther away than I thought, or the way, how fast they were feeding away. They uh, kept going. Just saw them slip under the, slip through the fence um, onto some more BLM land, so not discouraged. I can still go follow them slowly. Been trying to keep my distance, not to spook them. I don't think they're spooked. Um, but I'm gonna go over there. They are right towards that mountain. That's where they slipped through. So let's go see if we can follow them and get our hands on them. Try to get some more video through the binoculars. Shout out to, or not a shout out, but all in. 
when are you gonna release your bino adapter i can't carry around my spotting scope all the time okay or exo if you want to shot give me a backpack that'd be sweet and then I can just carry my spine scope and everything else. I don't have a backpack that's light and big. I just have a frame pack to carry out the meat. So probably make do with my elk elk hunt later this, this month. But uh, let's keep going on this antelope hunt. Well, just walking over to where the antelope went over the fence and disappeared. Kind of cool little find. Land survey stake. It says 1917. Like, what was out here in 1917? I doubt a lot less than what we're seeing right now. But pretty cool, pretty crazy. Sun's getting a little toasty. But, um, we're getting closer. <clears throat> Fence is pretty far away still. But... They're definitely a lot farther away than what I thought when I spotted them. So hopefully when we go over this little ridge, they're just feeding right there. Throw an arrow down range. There you go. All right, as you can see, we just crawled under the fence. Over this little berm right here, about a couple hundred yards, there's a watering hole. So even though I think they crossed a little higher up that way, I bet you, I'm hoping they, they're going to that water. So let's go check, see if it's dry or not, and then uh, see if we can sneak in. Let's go. All right. They uh, officially disappeared. You see two, there's two back by the watering hole that uh, that blind was at. And when I was probably about 900 yards away from the blind, I heard them roll up on their quad and park right behind their blind. So they're sitting there. Kind of cool to see them take out, take out one. It looks like there's two two pronghorn walking in and they look pretty hesitant but they're still 400 yards out so from the from what i would guess a couple hundred yards from the watering hole so we'll kind of see how it plays out we're going to go to another watering hole that's nearby most likely uh dried up but we'll check it out all right there's two pronghorn I guess like 200, 300 yards away. Um, there are just two does that I saw so far. I'll show you the footage now. I'm gonna kind of hang out and see if I can spot any more. And then this might be a good spot to crawl in on. I'll check the wind and see which way it's going. That stock got canceled real quick. They kind of, I don't know if the wind swirled in there or what, but they definitely busted out. I can still see them, but you can see the footage right here. It's they're pretty far, pretty far away. About double is what they were, so no stock. But they're also four. Maybe called ewes because they're if they're goats of some sort, then they're a ewe, but pretty dang far away. So maybe I'll just keep going to that this watering hole. I was gonna stock on just see my stocking skills, but they're moving pretty fast now. I wonder if those are the same ones that jumped the fence and then came back. So for there's only four, and there used to be eleven. 
check, see if they, I wonder if they just got kicked out of this green spot by a, by a buck. Let's see. All right, super windy, so I don't know how this audio is gonna work out, but these guys came and picked up their, uh, thought they were coming to sit in it and I was walking over there trying to stay out of their way but get back to the truck and it's gone. You can check it out and see if there's a lot of sign or whatnot. A little bit there but man even then they didn't even come for a drink of water oh here we go they're hitting it what the heck are these All right, fam, that's a wrap for the morning hunt. Um, head back to the truck. Got another 500 yards or so. Six miles just this morning, walking around. Not always effective, but they put my eyes on a lot of pronghorn and um, about 10 minutes away, spotted some pronghorn. They had to be over a mile away, but I think that's probably good to plan for this afternoon. So, um, can we get back to the truck, go get some lunch, and then I'll be back. So, see you in a second. Also, feeling pretty hopeful for this afternoon because oh, Lucky Horseshoe found this sucker on the trail and, uh, Feeling pretty lucky. So it's going down tonight. All right, need your guys' opinion. I uh, tried to do the good thing and uh, put up the fence when I came through. So when I came through, the fence was down. When I got to the other side, the fence was, I put it back up. Now it's back down. From those guys picking up their blind with their quad. Should I put it back up or should I leave it down? I'm like, there's no cows in here. So it doesn't really, it's not keeping anything in or out other than people. But you know, they always say, leave it how you found it. But I found it down both times now. Leave in the comments what you think I should do. And I honestly think I'm gonna leave it down for now. Maybe I'll be back this afternoon. All right, fam. This is actually the end of day two. I've uh, been hunting for the last two hours. Have not seen anything. So went back to the spot that we were at this morning, spot of the, where, the, where we spotted those ones, and uh, nothing in sight. I was a little surprised. I thought they'd be out in the open like they were, but um, couldn't find them. And uh, so we are gonna call it a day for today and then hit up a, a new spot. Not gonna go tomorrow morning, but gonna hit up a new spot tomorrow afternoon and then the following morning. And that will be my antelope season, but it's fun. It's definitely fun to try out and uh, see them out in these flat plains. Like, sometimes I'm wondering, like, if I'm not spotting them, even though they're right there. But the times that I have spotted them, it's pretty easy. You know, they're out in the open. Like, I don't know. 
we're gonna, like I said, test out a new spot and go from there. So, catch you on the next video. Booyah! Alrighty, fam. Day. Technically, this is day uh, two or three. Yesterday was two. I was supposed to hunt, so now today is two. Uh, yesterday, super rainy. So, this side I would skip that and just stay inside. And today is the last two raw, so it's just going to be a morning hunt and still raining a little bit which i was a little surprised i thought it would have dried up and, and, and honestly it's not raining that hard so we are have a new spot we're gonna go check out and then uh yeah hopefully we can see some antelope hopefully put on one stock at least that's kind of my one goal i'm like i don't have to get one just one stock so um Wish us luck and I'll update you once we get to the get out there. Alright, let's do it. Well, we've been going for about an hour now and uh nothing yet. We've hit in the first spot and kind of driving through some BLM. The only thing we've seen so far is two coyotes on private land. It's kind of pictured here and then um Yeah, there's nothing. It's not looking too promising in this area. It's super rocky. Like they could be out here, but I just don't know. I just don't know enough about pronghorn where they'd be at. So we're gonna keep looking. I'll update you in a second. All right, so you can see been glassing for the last 10 minutes up on top of a little butte behind me. And uh, you can see really 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 far it's really windy so it was cold but um didn't see any antelope so i'm gonna head back and uh if we see anything i'll loop you in but uh good little first antelope hunt i would say you know i saw some that first day and second day and it wasn't just quite in the terrain that was stockable so you, you learn and you live and I'm sure I'll antelope here sometime in the future but uh, as always stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next hunt. Booyah! Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the 